Okay. How are we doing, Jane? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome, everybody, and welcome to the special planning uh, committee meeting on February 24th. And uh, here in the council offices, and it's snowing here for anybody who's phoning in from somewhere else, and uh, very, very wintry. So I'm going to call the uh, meeting to order at 101, and uh, I'm going to do my due diligence here. Uh, the electronic meeting is being held in accordance with Section 238 of the Municipal Act 2001 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I will verbally confirm that all members, that members are present. Uh, Councillor Nishikawa isn't in range of uh, internet, so she will be phoning in. Uh, we will be asking her for a verbal vote because we obviously cannot see her. Uh, and we have a quorum. Uh, and we have the CAO, we have the clerk, director of developmental services and environmental sustainability and other members of staff are here. Uh, we accepted in, uh, invited input from planning at muskokalakes.ca. I don't believe we got any of that. No. We did have some input directly. Chair, um, today's meeting is is being live streamed and recorded on the Township of Muskoka Lakes website and YouTube channel. By participating in the open public meeting today, you are consenting to your image, voice, and comments being recorded and posted online. And as usual, the motions have been pre-populated with random movers and seconders to expedite the meeting and voting will be done by physically raising our hands. And if that's an issue, we, uh, we will have a verbal vote, but it will not be recorded. Okay, and uh, today we do not have any supplementary agenda. And is there any disclosure of pecuniary interests? No, everybody's good. Great. So, okay, just um, we're here today to consider the o the Manette OPA, and uh, and the ask today is that we send it out for public input. And uh, and so that is what the recommendation is. We're going to get into that a little later. I'd just like to uh, explain to you what the process is going to be today. I believe we have two delegates here. We are going to hear our delegates and we will be able to ask questions of them, but I'm going to ask that we hold all discussions until we're actually um, into our meeting where we're reviewing the questions that were asked, et cetera, because after the delegates, we are going to move into closed session. And after closed session, we will basically continue with the public meeting. And that's when we will have the questions and, and, and Director Pink's report, et cetera. So that's just to sort of give you the game plan here. So without further ado, I will ask if Ms. Buster is here. And she is speaking on behalf of uh, Cleveland's House, our developer. There you are, Paul. Okay, Paula, if you, Miss Bustard, if you would like to speak and. Thank you very much, uh, Paula Bustard with uh, Cleveland's House, and I will keep my remarks short, uh, and I appreciate the time. We, uh, we, we appreciate the opportunity to speak to you again about the amendments that are being brought forward. Um, as I've said in previous deputations, uh, we've been working uh, with all the stakeholders um, on the reimagining of the Cleveland's House property and, and what the opportunities are and significant modifications to the existing as of right permissions and policy framework. Um, since the property was acquired in 2018. We participated in uh, for the last year in the working group. And we believe that we've made a lot of concessions to try to substantially reduce the development rights that exist on the property now, uh, including reduction of as of right units, uh, but also adding unit equivalencies, GFA caps, uh, supporting a lot of different policies pertaining to servicing, 
um, use provisions, doc provisions, uh, a lot of environmental provisions. And we've been working with our consultants on drafting those policies and working collaboratively with all stakeholders. Uh, we would just urge you today to, to release this document, to go to the public and try to move the process forward. There is an element now where we feel like we're, we're, we're kind of uh, in a little bit of a spin cycle of indecision. And we really want to get moving on this development, but we're, we're somewhat uh, limited on what we can do uh, without knowing what's going to happen with the policy framework. So uh, I would respectfully ask that we move this forward, we get it to the public. Certainly the draft that's been brought forward by your consultants, we're not 100% satisfied with it. You know, there's still some issues that we have with it, as I'm sure other stakeholders are. Uh, but I think the only way to work through those issues is for the document to be brought to the public and to start the formal planning process uh, so that we can all get some certainties on what's going to be happening here. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you have, but I would just respectfully ask that we, we move this process forward because um, I think a lot of time and effort have been spent by all parties over the last couple of years. And, uh, and I think now is the time to obviously get the public involved and, and to start making some firm decisions one way or another. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> If I might, uh, I know a letter came in this morning from you, and you have referred to it. If we could just completely clarify, uh, because when I read it through, um, it looked to me like you you may have been asking that we approve approve this today. But then I then I got to the next part and said, I think what you're asking is that it moves on today in the process. That is your ask today? Yeah, yes, I, and I thank you for the clarification. Uh, I mean, obviously, I, I think uh, what we're trying to say twofold here, we believe the concessions that we've made uh, represent, obviously, good planning decisions that should and ultimately be approved. That, that is our thing. But we understand that the process today is to simply release a document out to the public and formally start the planning process. So the statutory public meetings, the public consultation, and then ultimately leading to a, a council decision down the road. Uh, so yes, the, the what we're asking today is to move it forward and release it to the public. Uh, but within that uh, letter, we also just want to obviously reiterate the, the position that we've taken on the lands, the concessions that we've made, and that we feel, we feel the totality of the policies that have been presented are something that should be considered for approval. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, Council, just questions at this time, not, not uh, comments particularly, but does anyone have any questions of Ms. Buster? I'm not seeing any, so uh, thank you. And I'm going to ask uh, Paula, would you be able to be around uh, after we Absolutely. get out of, of closed? Okay. The, oh, wait a minute. I see. Actually, I see Councillor Zavitz and I see Councillor Edwards. So don't don't run away. Okay. I won't. <laughs> Councillor Zavitz. Thank you, and through you, Chair, uh, to uh, Ms. Busbrood, if I might. So. Paula, thanks again for being here. And, and I think the reason for this meeting is as much clarity. And uh, I think we were all desirous of, uh, of uh, keeping this thing moving. Um, I, I have to be honest, in our last meeting, when I asked you the question and you looked right in my eyes and said, you're still here and you're staying here and you're committed, I, I, I'm surprised to read a letter with, that has the last word forthwith in it. And I, I just want you to know that I, I believe we are dealing in the absolute best of faith. And this is big. We, we don't do a lot of these. Um, you know, you, your peg, penguin group of companies does. And I would ask that you, for your understanding, and uh, I'm not asking for compassion or anything. We're all big kids here, but this is a, this is a big one for us. And uh, certainly I, I, I I'm, in, I'm invested in this and this township and I want to see this move forward and I want to see us come up with the best possible result and I appreciate being able to say that. Thank you. No problem. Okay, thank you. Councillor Edwards. You're good? All right. Any? I'm not seeing any other questions, so thank you very much, right. uh, Ms. Bustard. And, oh, Mayor Harding, I see. Uh, just uh, Chair Bridgman, your video is off, though we like looking at a picture of you. Um, you may want to turn your video on. There we go, you're back. Now your microphone's off. Well, welcome to my lovely day. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you, Ms. Buster. And I, I think we have Mr. Richards coming in now. Hey, Paul, can you hear me, Mr. Richards? 
Uh, your microphone is off. Yep, I can hear you, Byron. There, you, there you. you go. Okay, I'm, thank you. And please carry on. Oh, I'm on right now? You are. Oh, has Paula spoken? Yes, she has. Oh, I missed that. Hmm. Um, well, <laughs> it's uh, on video. Please. Okay, please yeah, go okay. ahead. Thank you. Oh, I can take this off then. <laughs> Good. Madam Chairperson, Councillors, staff, and guests, thank you for this opportunity to be with you this afternoon. Paul Richards, 2060 Peninsula Road, POB 1G0. As the result of advice from a number of people, both colleagues and counselors, I have made the decision to defer the remarks that I had planned to make today until a public meeting after I and all the interested members of the community will have time to have digested the details of your submission. I understand that the date of this meeting has not yet been fixed, but might I suggest that the material that we all need to master go out at least two weeks before the meeting. Dropping an agenda three days before a public meeting is unacceptable and seems designed to discourage the public participation that it claims to invite. As you're polishing the final draft of your package, I wonder if we could all possibly agree to drop the use of the word encourage and other fuzzy terminology, should, ought, reasonable, etc. Far from offering the assurance this kind of language is a red flag. Everyone knows that what ought to happen won't happen unless it is mandated, enforceable and enforced, not just now, but even in 10 years or in 20 years. The risk of adding eight to 10,000 people to a community the size of the Hamlet of Manette requires vigorous and informed public debate. I trust that you will be doing everything you can to facilitate and encourage it. With the best of intentions, the present owner may in due course find it reasonable to sell and the buyer may be encouraged by the laxness of our regulations to exploit them to the full. What we are potentially enabling with this proposal is a development potentially twice the size of Friday Harbor down the road, and perhaps not very far down that road. The least this community deserves is that about to have a community up to 10,000 people upon it is honest, legal, binding language, not wishful, please everybody intent. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you for this opportunity to be with you this afternoon. Well, you're welcome, Mr. Richards, and I can't um, wait to hear the rest of your, I'm not going to make any comments. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> that was great. Anyway, thank you okay, thank much. you very much, Mr. Richards. Any, there any, any questions, qu I'd be delighted. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions from anyone? Well, I think you were expressing a lot of what we've heard before, so that's probably why there aren't any questions, Mr. Richards, but thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, Madam Chair. Bye-bye. Okay, we are now going to move into closed session. So I have a motion here to read. It's moved by Councillor Roberts, seconded by Councillor Hayes, be it resolved that closed session convene at 1.15 p.m. for litigation or potential litigation, including matters before administrative tribunals affecting the municipality or local board and advice that is subject to solicitor client privilege, including communications necessary for that purpose. Pursuant to section 239, Two of the Municipal Act 2001. Any questions? All in favor? Madam Clerk, unanimous. Okay, uh, thank you very much. And we'll be back once we come out of closed session. Sorry? Should I leave this meeting, Chair Bridgman? Just, just, I'm just, I'm just okay. confirming that. Yes, you need to leave the meeting. Sorry, and no I think Paul is gone. Okay. No, you can't even be in the waiting room. Okay, right. Councilor Nisikawa still on the line. Ruth. I don't believe she's here yet. Is she? We haven't seen her yet, okay, Councilor Roberts. You.